Hello everyone, I'm the Crafting Cow. Welcome to today's video where I'm going to teach you guys how to make a bunker. My first TikTok to go viral featured a wooden bunker. It's currently at 3.2 million views. Thank you guys so much for that. If you'd like to see that TikTok and many more, my TikTok is at minecraft.build.er, which is my Instagram as well. Now let's start the tutorial. The first steps follow about the same steps as the pixel art house as both are bunkers. If you haven't checked out that video yet, check it out. So, first find flat land or make the land flat, then dig. I always like to make my bunkers at least four blocks tall inside, but five is my preferred height. Accounting for the floor and for the glass cover, I'm gonna dig seven levels down. Some people don't like having glass covers over their bunkers and prefer to just leave it open, but I find it useful as a means to protect against phantoms and lightning. If you want, you can use fill commands, but I prefer to dig by hand. As for the shape of your bunker, it's your decision entirely. I like using common shapes. I've made two squares and posted a rectangle on my Instagram. Now today, I'm gonna build a plus sign shaped bunker. That shape was really popular on Instagram for a while with awesome builders like SheepGGMC, at RandomBuilderMC, and at ExecutiveTree all doing some. I like their accounts below. Once I have the ground dug out, I'm gonna start putting some oak logs up in the corners and filling in the walls with planks. I decided to start adding some more logs to the corners and filling the floor with cobblestone. I then textured the walls and the floor. Texturing in its entirety is enough for a whole other video, but in general, I replaced some of the planks with stripped oak logs and some of the cobblestone with stone and stone bricks. Next, I started building the staircase. I came up with a few iterations, but ended up going with the idea of having walls underneath either side made of textured oak planks, upward facing logs right next to the stairs, spruce stairs underneath the logs, and fences filling in the rest. I rebuilt it out in the open so you could see a clearer view of it. After I finished the stairs, I started decorating around the rim of my bunker with spruce stairs, spruce slabs, spruce trapdoors, and oak trapdoors. In my most recent wooden bunker, I used fences and fence gates as well as buttons too. My point is that there are loads of options for decorating the room of your bunker. Have fun with it. Mess around with different materials until you're happy with it. Especially if you're building this in survival or if you just like it to be more visible at night in your creative world, put lanterns on some of the logs so you can see it while you're getting home. After I finished all that, I textured my logs with spruce planks, then added spruce trap doors to the bottom of all the logs. Afterwards, I added the glass cover, but left the center open as I'm going to build an aquarium there. I have a whole video about how to build aquariums I'll link below, so I won't explain much of how I built this one, but something I didn't go over in that video was using walls to create these stalagmite shapes from the floor. I decorated the top of the aquarium, putting in lily pads and adding corals and seagrass around the edges. I added a path into the house using coarse dirt and grass path, then added a little entryway with trapdoors, fences, textured planks, and rails. I just improvised this idea and often don't have any sort of entryway in my bunkers, but this was easy and I'm happy with how it turned out. Next, I moved to the back section of the house where I wanted to put my bedroom. I started off making a platform to put the bed on. I've showed an option for headboard design I love using on my TikTok, I'll link to it below, but this time I used lecterns as a headboard and trapdoors to line the side. I thought the area above the bed looked empty, so I added some chests and an item frame with a diamond in it for decoration. I chose this blue theme because the aquarium water kind of centered the whole build. After that, I started making some shelving units in the side. Putting things inside in walls and bunkers is always great. That's why I'm insetting all these shelves. It opens up the space and fills the walls like maps and paintings do. As for what's on the shelves, every house needs storage space, so I put out a lot of chests as well as crafting tables, jukeboxes, lanterns, flower pots, sea pickles, turtle eggs, and lecterns with a sign on the front of them, which I think just kind of cleans up the look of them. To fill the floor, something I considered was putting a rug down, but for something more functional, insetting furnaces and blast furnaces into the floor with stairs around them looks great. Something I didn't mention before is that one of the big negatives about bunkers is how dark the middle can get at night, so some advice for how to brighten up spaces is to hide light sources. Light comes through stairs and slabs, so hiding shroom lights, glowstone, or sea lanterns underneath or behind stairs and slabs ups the light level inside. Also, as I've got those spruce trap doors on the bottom of all the logs, it's really easy to place those blocks under them to light up the place too. I started the left side after that. I put my enchantment table in the floor to fill up that center space, then put an arch in the back for my potion making area and filled it with a potion brewing station on a shroom light, a zombie head display, which I have a tutorial for on my TikTok that'll link in the description, a cauldron, a lectern, and another warp farm. I put some trap doors on the outside just to clean up the look and use some item frames with potions in them for decorations. I knew I wanted my furnaces, grindstone, anvil, and the like around here, and I liked the arch shape I used for the potion making station, so I used the same design for the sides. I like the arch shape so much I incorporated it into the side I'd already completed too. So my bunker can be completely efficient, I decided to include a farm inside. I put my little garden down in the center and tried to work out how to decorate it nicely, then moved on to my animal pens. I used the arch design again for my pens. I pushed all the walls back four blocks, put fences and gates down, textured wood planks in the walls and ceiling and grass on the floor. When building your ceilings, beware of the blocks that show above ground. Next, I added lanterns and started a little on decoration. Now, I encourage you guys not to follow exactly what I'm doing. Add the thing you want or you need. If you prefer a more decorative house to the functional one I'm building, try adding a dining room or a library or a kitchen. Make small changes about where you want things and what shapes you want to make them in. That's how you improve as a builder, making your own decisions. 
Once I did the other two sides, I added some more decorations, grass, a little water hole, and some chicken hunts. Then I added the animals in and surrounded the garden in leaves to finish off that side, moving back to the front, putting a painting on one side and a map wall on the other. The map took a while to put up, so I did some other stuff a while, like getting rid of some of the ground that got really close to the build, just kind of cleaning up the site, putting grass around the build, chests on the walls on both sides of the entryway, and putting ferns and bushes outside. To finish off the build, I added some more chests and crafting tables under the painting and map wall, furnaces in the floor, lit up the areas covered by stairs and slabs, and put stone buttons down as rocks outside. And that is how to build a bunker. Have fun with this, mess around, and don't forget to tag me in your builds to let me see them and get them included in the next video. Like and subscribe to see more content like this, let's play TikTok compilations, and some new stuff I'm working on now. If the music you heard throughout is by Royal Fools, I've linked their Instagram below. If you'd like a commission, message me. Again, I am at minecraft.buildthatur on Instagram and TikTok. I have a Discord server and those two accounts linked below. Thanks so much for watching, I will see you soon. Peace!